Hello everyone, welcome to True Crime and Tarot. I am Natalie and today's case that I'm going to be speaking to you about is Tammy Mahoney. So Tammy Mahoney, she was born on August the 29th, 1961. She has a brown hair that was shoulder length, green eyes, five foot three and 130 pounds and she is a white female. So the FBI is offering a reward of up to $20,000 for the information leading to the recovery of the body of Tammy Mahoney and or the arrest of the prosecution of those responsible for her death or her disappearance. So Tammy Mahoney was last seen on May the 8th, 1981 near Route 46 in Oneida, Madison County, New York. She was likely hitchhiking to visit friends and Tammy Tammy was picked up and brought to a party at a residence on the Territory Road of East Off Route 46 in Oneida. According to some individuals, Tammy had departed the residence on foot and her family and friends haven't seen or heard from her since. And she was reported missing on May the 9th, 1981. Tammy was just 19 years old at the time. So there is to be um, a number here from the FBI of Albany office in Utica, the RA, on 315-731-1781 for anyone who has any information regarding this case. So Tammy had a dark coloured v-neck sweater on or sweatshirt with white embroidery at the neck and wrists. She had blue jeans or bib um, overalls with a 29 inch waist, a dark coloured or denim jacket, a size 36 D bra, possibly size 6 um, clog sandals or white low top sneakers um, and size 5 to 6 silver ring with a green stone at the time she disappeared. She also had a small cross necklace with the turquoise stones that was in there as well and a very thin dime sized metal medallion depicting a guardian angel and a bridge with two children crossing it. She is a Caucasian female with brown hair, green eyes, she has her ears pierced and she has some freckles. Um, her nails are very short, she might bite them. She had a fractured a lower leg as a child. Tammy resided with her boyfriend in the 100 block of Lennox Avenue in Oneida in New York. She had studied husbandry at the State University of New York. Um, and also Morrisville campus during this 1979 um, to 1980 school year and stated that she wanted to become a veterinarian but she did not return to school for the second year. Tammy had last been seen hitchhiking near the Greenwood at Glenwood sorry, shopping centre on Route 46 on Oneida of at the time 7.45 a.m. on May the 8th, 1981. And she had planned, um, this was, she had ever been gone, was 18 days and she had been employed as a groom at Vernon Downs, but also um, quit a job a week before she went missing. And she did not tell anyone of this and left her apartment um, every morning as if she was going to work. Um, she had applied for another job in the newsrooms at the Oneida Daily Dispatch and stated on the application that she had a previous job um, and she had left this previous job because it was too far away from home and she often hitchhiked to work um, when she had no friends um, to give her a ride at this time. So Mahoney and her boyfriend um, were planning to move out of the apartment in May 1981 and she left behind all of her belongings um, and she had packed for the move and also she took a toothbrush as well. So her family lived on Long Island in New York at the time of her disappearance and they had stated that she was very close to them and kept in regular contact and they did not believe that she would have left without any warnings. Investigators believe that Mahoney was gang raped and murdered at a party inside a trailer on the Oneida Indian Nation Territory shortly after she was um, 
last seen, and the authorities received a tip that Mahoney's body was inside a building that burned down on Lennox Avenue, and this was on May the 11th. There was an extensive search of the area that produced no clues as to her whereabouts. Mahoney's disappearance was reclassified as a probable homicide sometime um, afterwards. So the investigators had announced that they had identified several male uh, suspects in the Mahoney's presumed murder in spring of 2002. The men's names have not been publicly released, but not all of the suspects are members of the Oneida Indian Nation. Authorities said dozens of witnesses were inside the trailer at the time of a homicide and the murder suspects still live in the local area. The federal government will prosecute Mahoney's case since she was allegedly killed on Indian Nation property. Investigators cannot um, file charges against anyone until her body is recovered. A man's wallet was turned into authorities by an unidentified individual several days after Mahoney had disappeared. The wallet was located on the territory and the investigators said that it is connected to her case. The identity of its owner has not been divulged and but the um, officials requested that the person who recovered the item contact the detectives in order to obtain additional evidence. Someone scrolled a message and the names of two alleged suspects on the reward flyer posted um, in a guy, a gal and a laundromat in a Vernon, New York in March 2002. Investigators made a public plea for the photos of the Indian Nation Territory and any junk vehicles from May 1981 around the same time. Authorities announced that the Mahoney's body may have been placed inside one of the cars, uh, cars immediately after her murder. The officials had searched a gravel-covered lot near the Shakawi Cultural Centre on the Territory in late June 2002. A pond was located in that area and at the time of Mahoney's disappearance, um, but it was filled in some time afterwards, so there was no evidence um, that was uncovered during the search. The investigators said that they did not believe that her remains were still inside the car, but the materials related to a case may be inside the vehicle. Mahoney was born in the Long Island, New York area. Her case remains unsolved. The investigating agency, Madison County Sheriff's Department's number is 315-366-2289. If anyone has any information on this case, then please contact them on that number. Oneida Police Department's number is 315-363-9111. So that is all I can find on this case so far. So I decided to do a tarot card reading and there is four questions I asked like on all my um, videos. Number one, what happened to Tammy Mahoney? Two, who was involved in the disappearance of Tammy Mahoney? Three, where is Tammy Mahoney? And four, what is the final outcome to be for Tammy Mahoney? So first question, what happened to Tammy Mahoney? We had reverse King of Swords. So there was a male that had took advantage of Tammy and he had used this charm to try and manipulate her and persuade her. Reverse Knight of Wands, there was some frustration. Someone was standing in the way. There was some acting impulsively and later regretting it. Reverse Nine of Wands, there were some struggles and challenges and they kept fighting. There was a lack of support and defensiveness and being under attack. Two Pentacles, there was a juggle due to priorities and responsibilities and coping with some demands. Wheel of Fortune, there was a travel overseas and things started to turn at uh, take a turn. Reverse sun, so there was a struggle to try and see the bright side of life. There was sadness, depression. Ten of wands, there was a lot of burdens and being weighed down. There was a move of a home. Reverse death, there was resistance to change and letting the past go. Reverse nine of cups, there was some searching within oneself for happiness and had been involved in some drinking and drugs or potential partying. Reverse Eight of Swords, they was trying to give up something and is bit very open to change. 
who was involved in the disappearance of Tammy Mahoney. And we had the six of pentacles that came out. So there was a share of wealth and being inclined to lend someone money in promise to bring it back. Four of cups, there was an offer, an opportunity, but she had said no or turned them away. There was a feeling of being bored and being very dissatisfied. Reverse two of cups, there was a falling out or a breakup. Emperor, there was stability or a stabilizing influence involving a father figure. Reverse eight of pentacles, there was doing things repeatedly until they're happy with their own results. Reverse Ace of Cups, there was some emotions that was being kept in private. Six of Cups, there was someone from the past that they had to rekindle and go in the form of a cooperation. Wheel of Fortune, there was an overseas trip and a completion of a certain phase. Two of Pentacles, there was a lot of juggling a certain situation and certain things. Reverse Knight of Cups, there was an action that was wanted to take but just was not ready to do it as of yet. They was very jealous and very frustrated at this time. Where is Tammy Mahoney? Reverse Ace of Pentacles, this hesitancy with some opportunity and something had fell through. Reverse Page of Pentacles, there is to explore something, an idea but cannot act on it. There is a lot of daydreaming about future goals. Reverse strength, so there is vulnerability and some not so good behaviour involving a lot of aggression. Reverse King of Wands, there's a lot of aggressiveness with a male that is very arrogant and he acts as if he's above people and he can control people. Reverse Seven of Cups, there's several different choices to be faced. They have to need to try and focus on what is important to them. World, there is a new opportunity and an overseas trip. Reverse Nine of Pentacles, there's some money involvements and realising what is actually important. What is the final outcome to be for Tammy Mahoney's case? We have Reverse Eight of Pentacles, there's to be a lot of dedication and determination to get some results on this case. Reverse Seven of Swords, there is to be revealing of some secrets that has been withheld. There is also involvements to do with an affair and being very reluctant to keep a secret any longer. Reverse Six of Wands, there is to be some uncomfortability with getting a public praise. Seven of Wands, there is to be challenges and becoming very stressed and is to fight for what is right and is to confront those who pose as a threat. Reverse Devil, there is unhealthy habits that may hold her back, causing a lot of anxiety, depression and restriction. Reverse Seven of Cups, there is several choices that is to be faced. Reverse Knight of Pentacles, so there is a form of a routine and need to be routine free for a while. Reverse Five of Swords, there is to be a lot of arguing and to lose something. There's negative emotions and a lot of trouble. Reverse Ace of Pentacles, there's to be hesitancy and a risk involvement. Five of Pentacles, there's to be poverty and some delays and some isolation and feeling alone. Okay then, so that is the reading, um, tarot reading to this case and that is the research I can find on this case for Tammy Mahoney. If you enjoy my videos, please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if there's any other cases you'd like me to do, then feel free to comment in the comment section below. And until next time, take care.